Now we will experiment how big could be the mesh we can scan with the HoloLens. We don't have actually the mesh directly on the, on the HoloLens, but we send into the computer of our WebRTC, and this is sent directly with the video and audio. So now we can see what is the area we will scan. It is actually the mesh afterwards. And um, here we are in our office. So you see the red hat. This is my, my hat. And now let's go inside. I will show you what we see on the monitor of Greg. Um, so you see again my head here. I will jump a little bit so you can see that this here like in real time. And um, the idea is to go around and uh, we go outside. Um, remember, HoloLens doesn't have a GPS, and we go also inside. And um, HoloLens. Um, will send all the time to the computer the mesh. So now we're going the stairs down. So you already see here is the whole scan of the of the HoloLens after the going down all the five level. And now we are going outside. Um, so I go to the trees, I go to the like characteristic points so you can see later in the mesh how it looks like. So now you have like a time loop um, how the mesh is coming of our web RTC to the to the main computer and on the right side you see like in real time um, what I see in the HoloLens and this is in the same channel on the web RTC. So now we are going like a long distance outside. Uh, Greg was on the balcony so we just check if we see each other. Um, as I mentioned before scanning characteristic points, trees and now we go inside let us check how how well it would work uh, inside of the uh, building. So you remember we don't have GPS and the only information where we are is because of of the mesh which is co uh, collected by by HoloLens. So now we look like very characteristic one is the castle, and you will see later in the scan that uh, the the elements of the of the castle and 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 the towers. So now let's go outside. So so you see the mesh is coming and then um, because it's web RTC we have like a small delay. Uh, we have a delay for the video, we have additional delay for, for the mesh. Um, for example the whole mesh for the whole journey which I did now is like about 60 megabytes. Um, so sometimes you don't see it really like in real time in the computer. So now you see the final result. We will also put a link to the final result. And here is like about um, one kilometer journey um, run around. And this is very nice uh, coming together with the real map. So you see here is the Google Earth map. And this is almost like one to one. I didn't see like problems.